Hello, Brickman here, and welcome to the final part of my building LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker series. Today we're going to be covering three bonus levels, including the Clone Wars, Rogue One, and the Mandalorian. So to start us off, we're going to go in order. The Clone Wars follows up right after Attack of the Clones and is in between Revenge of the Sith. So yeah, the level placement is all correct. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so here is this level in its raw form. I'm covering the Clone Wars movie, as a matter of fact. Uh, sure, it would have been a more popular choice to, like, cover something from the show, but I figured the movie would be, like, the simplest thing, plus I'd therefore just be covering every single actual movie that was made for Star Wars, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that, I mean, mine is solo, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, it's the Clone Wars movie, so let's play it. Oh, man, so right off the bat, we start off in this trench, it's the scene for the movie where they have to climb up this huge wall, because this is the whole rescue mission for Jabba's baby. Also, by the way, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, be sure to watch the whole rest of this series, all other nine Star Wars movies, definitely will be worth it, so, yeah, that's, that's a minigun in the corner, by the way. So, to start us off here, you can push this crate, getting up this wall is the fun part, so you have to jump from thing to thing and uh, be able to reach it that way. Oh, gotta try an alternate path this way. Oh, we can pick up a spear now and then go back. Oh, the turrets are shooting at you just like, you know, they would be in the movie where you're getting shot at by a ton of things. Let's throw that spear into that spear socket because now we can probably use that as a handlebar. Okay, there, you made that and then you have to jump here. Oh my God. All right, so once you land here, you can build the ladder again. Yeah, that's gonna automatically push you off of the ledge. That's annoying, but so be it. So the point of this ladder is that you could jump to that bar and then jump on this rope and then finally you're up now yeah there's a huge battle going on here this is where all the battle droids would come out and attack you of course uh it's really uh pretty accurate maybe you could take care of these turrets too because like they are annoying that's the whole wall fight and the fight right outside of this palace place so if you shoot this target what does that do it opens up the gate so you can go inside then for decoration there's also this barrel here that gets some studs and also kind of hard to see it as in it's very hidden there's a target all the way out here and if you shoot that that's for a mini kit yeah, so if you walk into the palace yeah the battle droids attack you as they as that's what happens when anakin and ahsoka walk through and then they end up going all the way down here yeah, with the shorter character it's r2d2 uh, but technically you also need anakin and ahsoka so i don't know it's whoever but let's repair this i'm pretty sure yeah that's just for a mini kit that's a little side thing this is where we got a free jabba's kid okay so let's pull these one and then pull these two levers what that does is activate the fan so you could come back out of this little prison area but if you have both characters you could both hit a button there and then in Inside of here would be where Jabba's kid is. You could pick this up, it's a bazooka, and then you could also pick this up, that's Jabba's baby itself, right? Look at it, it's, it's so cute. But really, that's because they end up going back outside, as you remember, they try to get away with the kid, but then they do get attacked, so they have to like go backwards again. But you could shoot this metal rock now, and then pick up a key, and then put this key into the key switch. Bada bing, bada boom, you get that done. And there was an Ahsoka boss battle out here, but the second player kind of screwed me over completely out of my control. There is a flashback to what happened as they already killed her, but uh, yeah. And after their whole fight with Ventress on the ledge, they gotta end up jumping down a great height. But of course that jump is just a trick shot when that like creature comes in and flies them up. So, okay, you go out here, you fight this guy, right? Cause they gotta steal the ship from the battle droids, which would be this car. And then when once they steal the ship, they gotta fly away fast, but they also get shot down when they, you know, end up crash landing onto this planet. And I will admit, this is extremely difficult to do with just the vehicle, so I'll like do at least the beginning part with a character. But yeah, then you could finish that up maybe with a vehicle. You gotta go through all these hazards, of course, and this is the big crash landing onto the planet tattoo. Oh, come on! Okay, well, here you go, but as per usual, I still have these vehicle switches just to ensure that you actually brought the vehicle out this way. God, this is going horribly, but anyways, okay, if you hit these vehicle switches, then boom, that gives you the mini kit at the end of the race, and not only that, but it also activates this elevator. So now you could go all the way up here. This is where Anakin encounters Count Dooku, so there's Count Dooku, quick fight with him, and this would be Count Dooku's little speeder bike. But then also up here, you could pick up a book, and feel free to ride that motorcycle up here if you want. Okay, now we can solve the book switch right here. With that solved, it puts up a ramp. Then with that ramp, you're gonna be able to jump over here, and uh, you're gonna switch to Ahsoka's point of view, and you're gonna fight these people that attack her, uh, you know, General Grievous's kind of dudes, those robot dudes. Pick up a lightsaber so, like, you're actually Ahsoka. And now you could enter Jabba's palace as she makes it there. And there's Jabba attacking one of his own servants, of course, as that's what the alligator does. It's annoying. 
you got the 35,000 stud target for True Jedi. There's that mini kit. And also you could use the rope switch right on Jabba's pedestal here. <laughs> and that gives you the end of the level mini kit and ends the level. But let's go get those mini kits that we're missing. Let's see if I, I could, yeah, I could jump over there from the door. So you gotta be extra careful here. A lot of balancing and skill, but then you could jump over to the taller part of his palace to get that mini kit, right? Looks just like the actual Jabba's palace does on the exterior, right guys? But yeah, I forgot to mention it. This gate was actually opened as well as the ramp from the book switch. So that's why you have to do that because I know you can jump up here anyways. So, okay. Other mini kits in here. There is a hard to see that you can do. You don't even know you could walk here, but yeah, that's a mini kit. Anything else? Ah, yes. Hidden over here. There is a rope switch, uh, like a pull switch, I guess it's called, uh, but you jump on that and that gives you a mini kit. And now finally, if you go back in this area, yes, I was right. Okay. There's a book switch that now you could do because you have a book now. So with that solved, that gives us our last 10 out of 10 mini kit. Now that level definitely only works. I feel like if you remember everything from the Clone Wars movie, which I feel like most of my viewers might not. So I'm sorry about that. But uh, trust me, that was an accurate depiction of everything that happened in the movie. But yeah, I definitely wanted some reference to the Clone Wars, whether it was the show or the movie. And I chose the movie. So there you go. That, those in between all those levels. The next bonus level would be what when we had episode four was only four levels. That's because we had Rogue One that takes place right in between episode three and right before episode four. Four. So, without further ado, let's play Rogue One. And why do I have the number one in the title? Because for whatever reason, they wouldn't let me put just uh, one spelled out. I don't know, so I had to put the number one. All right, so here is this level. As you can see, it's the planet of Scarif. I am only covering the finale to the movie. It's, uh, you know, the part that counts. So yeah, we got a plenty going on over here. Looks like a fun level. So hey, we should play it, right? All right, so this guy represents either Jin Erso or Cassian. He kind of looks more like Cassian. He starts out on the landing pad, but then down here you have at least this is like blaze or something base. This is when they have to plant all the various bombs and stuff. And also through the uh, trees here on the beach, you do fight all of these Scarif stormtroopers. So yeah, you know, take care of some of those. You have to find through the trees. Oh, there's a match. So you need a match for each of the barrels actually. So so, you know, there's the first one through the other tree was another one. You could put that right here. So that blows up right there. Yeah, it's, it's a big explosion, but inside the metal chest next to that barrel was your first spear. You're going to need more where that came from. So let's wait for that to blow up. There that goes. Okay. Yeah, it blows up the surrounding trees, but as long as it doesn't reach the next metallic barrel, that's all that really matters. We're going to need three spears total. So you could put the first one in and no, you can't reach. The whole point of this, by the way, is just to get the second player who is already down here up here because you can't do that yet. Pick up that second spear and put that second spear into the second spear switch there. Now, where's the match for the third barrel? Oh, you got to you gotta search into the waters for those. Uh, so do you destroy that bush and the problem with this is if you pick up the match you can't walk through water with a match so that's why instead i include the uh somewhat like it's just unique i guess you have to jump off of there to avoid the water but anyways yeah let's light that up right all of their different bombs go off when they uh invade scarif here and then there that one goes now okay pick up the next spear let's bring that over boom put that in once all three are in the ramps go up and now you have both characters on top of the landing pad we will pull a lever one there and then one two there you go Go. that opens the gate you have to jump over this little fence but uh here's a guard you can't kill the dude right because it's the skeleton because this is a moment where they use a disguise as i always have when they use disguises in the movies you have to push this guy it's pretty simple you just push him onto the button he shouldn't move too far i mean he can move far and then he's not on the button but that's three buttons and you did need a second player in order to do all three at the same time right so that elevator brings us up now we're in this room oh this is when the stormtroopers start invading yep 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 and this is k2so's sad death scene when he's standing behind this place but we can't pick up a book from that thing before and then solve this book switch it's so all the controls and whatnot but with that solved it opens this gate here and then you can advance to the next room this is that big structure of like weird things but they had to jump across it and around it so that's what i have us do here it's just a challenging little jump thing so you can't jump on top of it yet so you have to like wrap around once you get here the thing is out of sight but yeah there's another rope and then the bar goes a little higher than the previous bar which brings you to this higher up rope that finally lets you reach the top and then finally here is the director Krennic boss yep you gotta kill him that's rough though because you did have uh, people with bazookas there but either way you can pick up the bazooka if they didn't happen to blow up the thing that was blocking here but it's gone it's gone then we could use the toggle switch and what that does is opens the gate over there so also get some studs back here and you see if you did fall down here there was a ladder for you to come back up that's the only way back up so with that gate open that does nothing yet so we got to solve something else see with the other half of the crew they were still uh you know they were by the ship and then if you got on the vehicle here you too get to go on that vehicle button of course you can't drive it outside of this little pit but this is the rogue one ship by the way that activates the hazard over there this is when they have to get to that lever 
and that's like what everything depends on, right? And like you die just getting able, being able to pull that lever. So there, there that goes. And that lever activated this elevator, which the elevator would have been useless if the door wasn't open. So that brings you up here. This is the Tantive Four. Yep, they panic. Okay, of course. But now you're Darth Vader. So of course I had to represent this epic scene. You can do the first lightsaber switch and then do the second lightsaber switch. And then yeah, the rebels are going to start attacking you. They're shooting at you, but you are just unstoppable. Oh, there are quite a few actually. Yeah, so take care of the next one and then there's gonna be two lightsaber switches really called a rope switch but here you go then that opens the final door you just got to stop them from getting those plans out but uh, it's too late so they're gone and yes i know darth vader's not on the actual tantive four he's just like on the little docking bay thing but uh yeah do the left lightsaber switch and that would be the end of the level this one was a little shorter but i mean it's it's the finale of rogue one i did everything that i had to cover i feel like you pick up one last sword but let's go explore for mini kits all these trees out here too to help us get some more studs oh what's that out here you can see there's another metal chest which now with that we have a bazooka we could just take out whatever metal chest we want we don't need a match so that gives us a wrench Ooh, out in the water here there is a little ball you can walk around and push that ball and then all you're aiming for is this one net that was way out in the open so you just get one out of one shots there that's a mini kit then out here you don't have your traditional mini kit in the corner because you can't reach that without being smart in how you jump you got to jump on the water bump and then there you go oh uh, and then off to the side it is a little hard to see it but there was the less lightsaber switch that you could use your extra lightsaber for there you go then now back over here you can jump on the gates get studs gonna go back around this way i gotta find something right in the corner oh that hits a button instead of rather just being a mini kit that puts a and he gets somewhere else so it's a little more difficult to get it oh also now that i'm noticing it there's a pretty hard to spot target here that you could shoot and that's a mini kit in this room now the only way to get on the walls in this area is to jump off of the top of that all right attempt number three just don't worry about it <laughs> there you go that's the mini kit on top of there and now also that you found that wrench from before you could repair this finally and with that repaired that gives you a mini kit here and only from here can you jump down onto this and you could build that ladder so you could get back out but the main attraction would be this key switch that gives you a mini kit then meanwhile there's just some bonus content out here if you pull up the gasoline tank that uh allows this laser beam to go the point of this was i was thinking uh the, like the death star laser beam that shoots the planet and that allowed for a big explosion to show that when the beam hits there's a big explosion you know just some interpretation of the fact that this planet's getting blown up by the death star but uh yeah you can now jump up here to get that mini kit because of the light sensor and finally we got to get a true jedi mini kit it's thirty-five thousand studs that was our target and hey what do you know 35 right in between episode three and four 35 oh yeah. okay there that was and now here is finally the most epic level you will see for the day and that is the mandalorian right after episode six and before episode seven of course where it fits in the timeline so the mandalorian let's play it all right so here is this level in its uh raw form it's pretty massive lots going on here i cover mainly the first and second episode first and then mainly the uh the last episode so of course you got to get the season finale and the first episode was also pretty set up but then i do have references at least to every single episode in the entire season so without further ado let's play it all right we start off indiana jones is the mandalorian and i guess you could say right now this is the ugnaught dude but we're about halfway through the uh first episode when the mandalorian's got to tame this wild creature thing so that he could jump through these the scorching oh the scorching challenging desert that's on this planet here so yeah you gotta be careful, you gotta jump around the fire, which is like the cracks in the ground. Be careful, you just need to choose the right places to land the horsey. <laughs> now, yeah, you're done with the horsey, so get off of that and then go to the next room. And what's going on here, you could use your grapple to whip over that uh, shovel. And this way you could dig out the ladder. And with that dug out, you could climb up to the next area. Now you could hit a button that opens the door. Yeah, that's your only way in, and then you can't go back out. So here's the big battle that takes place at this village area when he's gotta go retrieve the child, but he doesn't know what it actually is yet. So we fight all of these gunner dudes, right? Okay, get get him. And then of course the Mando's gotta take over this turret, so this is challenging. I represent this is you just uh, like jump on top of the turret and this is the only way you could whip over this dude and actually bring him down because otherwise any other angle you try to get it from it's not gonna uh, whip him downwards it's just gonna whip him in general but uh, there you go so you could kill him and that's the only way you could grab this key and with the key you could use this key switch through the pillars here of course the pillars the setting is accurate and uh with that activated it opens this door to the side you could use your shovel again to dig out this chest and inside this chest is dynamite because of course in the show they also got to blow through that door they just got to blow it up so i have metal rocks that were previously blocking you from being able to jump over this but there you 
go. Now it's destroyed, and you could kill this dude. And that dude was your previous sidekick. It was the IG unit who was about to shoot the child. And this is Baby Yoda. Yo, you pick him up. Baby Yoda. Woo! And there are just pots for decoration around in this room because it's a, it's a neat little room. And what do we pick up? We pick up a gun. So now you could shoot the target there, and that opens up the gate so that we could leave and go to this side. But this is the valley area. When you're walking with the child, you do get invaded by these thugs that want to, like, steal Baby Yoda from you. So you kill them. All right, now we're into the second episode for keeping track. And now this represents kind of the sand crawler chase. You gotta like jump quick before those rollers murder you. Once you get on the pull switch, then you need the combination of the pull switch and this button being pushed by your second player to open the door here. And now you can return back to the beginning of the level. And now that you have a gun, you could shoot this target that was in this area. And then boom, that shows you to go up that elevator. Now you gotta bargain with the Jawas to get your ship parts back, right? So let's do that. If you go on this lift, it brings you up to the area where he has to face this big monster. So we pick up the spear. This is what we're gonna slay it with. There are some hazards to go through here. Okay, the alligator thing just literally killed itself, but it was there, and this is the cave that the big monster hides in, and you throw the spear because he kind of uses the spear to, like, slay it or whatever he does, you know. And that did show you to return to the previous area, which, uh, yeah, the gate's open. And now we can go inside of the Ugnaught's home. And what does the Ugnaught do in his time away? Well, he repairs the IG unit, so he repairs something in his home, but repairing that actually just puts down this platform so that now you could reach it jumping off of that and now you go to the last level these are the two uh scout troopers that you gotta kill and steal their speeder bike from that was basically just a uh, representative of ig's badass moment but yeah now you take the motorcycle and you have to do the race as he speeds their speeder through this kind of wonky thing yeah there's no room yet but then finally it gets eventful once you bring it towards the village area on this concrete planet and then boom once you complete the race and push the vehicle button just ensuring that you brought the vehicle this far it opens the gate that could go into the interior and this is the big shootout that happens as well at the beginning of the last episode and of course there's another annoying turret to keep shooting at you but yeah kill those dudes and then you could go inside of the house place that they were in that our main heroes were in that is all setting on fire though so there's fire everywhere we could pull this lever we have to pull a second lever but the fire is in the way and as you recognize this is baby yoda's big force using moment so you push the boulder out of the way to be able to uh, get the bottle that actually puts out the fire because he moves the fire out of the way of course and then he pull the lever and then that opens the gate we got to move more fire out of the way though so yeah just keep putting out fire with more bottles go back and forth and there we go once you have an assured pathway through to the door you could go down into the sewer area now we're heroes we got to jump through some hazards just to keep things okay really jumping through some hazards just to keep things interesting but then we find mandalorian armor just sitting in a pile here this is what the pots are supposed to represent now and uh, we want to go back into the Mandalorian room. So you use a whip switch and that opens the gate. And this is the big forge area where we talk to the Mandalorian female version. And uh, yeah, here's what I have to represent, like the lava flowing to make the armor and whatnot that they have. And to actually activate it, you could push this button and then it has a light beam, which actually like adds light to the lava flow thing. So you just destroy these barrels that were blocking the light. And now you can push the button and it's a clean shot to the light sensor. And what that actually does is open the gate. So now you could leave that area right before she like gets attacked right and now our heroes got to get on the lava boats i have a uh, conveyor belts moving against you this last one though is not yet moving so you could actually aim and shoot this tree you better still have your gun on you and now you could whip over the dynamite this is ig's other big moment the only way to get out of here is of course for him to blow himself up right that's what this big explosion represents yeah i killed myself of course and now we have to use the whip switch right there once you whip that then uh it activates finally this last conveyor belt and also a lift for you to have to jump onto really quick oh and challenging like yeah this is part sucks because now it also activated a ton of turrets that you also have to try to survive that are pushing against me so when i jump i get pushed back okay there i finally made it so this is the part finally where mando has to latch onto the flying tie fighter or whatever and fight the big bad dude that was literally just introduced right and what do you get out of him well you get his saber his very special saber that was the big reveal at the end of the episode so that's why you could grab that off of him and you just use that lightsaber switch and then boom that's the end of the level you could collect that mini kit but there's so much more to explore so let's do it and the point of these turrets were like you know the tie fighter shooting at you or whatever and now 
once you're over here, first of all, there are some studs in the corner there, and you could use this short hatch. And this is the first of the small little references to the other episodes I have. This is the space station episode where they go in and all the walls are white. That's why I had to brick build that white wall. And this is like the little communications room with the cameras and whatnot, where they could pull a bunch of levers to open and close a ton of different doors. You know what happens in that scene. So that gives you a mini kit. Now let's whip over this TNT and be quick. See what we got to do here is we got to bring that all the way back this way. If you make the jump here, then you could destroy this metal chest that was at, no, sorry. Uh, that was at the forge and then you could blow that up and we probably get an item that, yup, that's a book. So you could use that book right here at the book switch. And with that solved, that puts an easy mini kit right there. What's in the corner here? Anything? Just, uh, some blue studs. Okay. You could destroy all of this if you're really lacking on studs, of course. So back here on this planet, you could position your two players on these two buttons. Yeah, this is of course going to be a little difficult, but if you get both buttons hit, that gives you a mini kit right here. Also, there are like tons of <laughs> blue studs to collect behind each of these rollers that just add to the hazards that are here. If we go up this ladder back to this area, now that we have a book, we could also solve this additional book switch. And with that solved, it opens up the door to another cameo level episode. And this is the little forest planet that goes on with the big AT-8, no, the, not the AT, the ATST walker battle. So that's why you have the two turrets shooting at you here. And if you shoot right back at it, hit that target, that gives you a mini kit. All of these are for purely free play bonus. It's fun though. Now, uh, hidden behind one of the pillars here, I mean, you could barely see it, so that's important, but there was a lever and that gives you a mini kit. And now also, if you noticed off to the side in this room, there was something to be repaired. So now if we do repair that, well, that's repaired, but we got to see what we actually just did. We opened a room to the, we opened the door to the side room in this area. So if you just pull the whip switch here, that gives you a mini kit. And then the last of our bonus episode cameo Easter egg whatever you want to call it if you shoot these three targets on the outside because it's on the same planet of course that's why you have this room this is where baby yoda was being held captive in episode three so this is his little bed destroy that so you could free baby yoda and then turn the key switch and that gives you a mini kit right here there's also just a barrel because that's like the decorations that are in the room and yeah there you go so yeah it's like every episode was given some form of justice and all of the cool scenes all the most important episodes of course so there you go, 10 out of 10, because I had the 80,000 stud target for True Jedi, and there we go, that is the Mandalorian bonus level. And ultimately, that would be the end of this whole series, because this is 10 out of 10 parts, we're done, 10 out of 10 minigoods, just like this whole thing. It was quite the ride, took so many, so many hours of work, you have no idea whether it be actually making the levels, then recording, and then editing, it's just... It was a lot, and I, that's why I really, really appreciate all of the support that I got from everybody that I did. So thank you for sticking around this long, and uh, we'll see what the future holds. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the actual, the actual game, is still going to come out. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, and uh, there you go. Bye! Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for lots more videos coming real soon. Bye-bye, bye-bye.